Now, it was a relatively warm and sunny day along Lake Park. And will this nice trend continue? I'll tell you, uh, Michael, I just really enjoyed today. Blue skies, the snow looked great. Good day to get out there and enjoy a winter day. Yeah, and if you actually had a chance to stand in the sun, Charles, I don't know if you noticed it's getting warmer and warmer now as we head towards spring. Well, as far as tomorrow, not as much sun, but it's still going to be fairly mild. One more quiet day before things go downhill because we've got the next low pressure tracking here. Here's Monday, low down to our south and west, and by Wednesday, it's just kind of tracking off to our south and east. We'll be watching that, but it looks like the heavier snow going to be well off to our south and west, kind of close, but still, you're going to have to be doing some shoveling, it looks like, after this rolls on through. Here's kind of a wider view around the state. This is going to be mainly Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, right on into Wednesday. Kind of a longer duration event, but as you can see, not the biggest snowmaker. Three to five inches the further south and east you head, two to four the further north and west you live, and one to three here in parts of central Wisconsin. Again, this could fluctuate a little bit as the storm gets closer. I'll get a little bit closer on that map here coming up in a few minutes, but average high should be 35. Holy moly, above average today. 38. That felt nice. We're going to do that again for tomorrow, just with less sun, and then that next storm system rolls on in. But right now, it's still mild. 35, we're seeing in Kenosha. 32, West Bend and Port Washington. Same with Waukesha and Burlington. Not bad for this time of night. And the winds are light. But those temperatures are going to dip with clear to partly cloudy skies. Maybe a little bit of patchy freezing drizzle late tonight. But all in all, that not a big deal. This is our next weather maker that makes it here mainly on Tuesday afternoon. So you get one more quiet day before this next one moves on in that we're probably going to have to do some shoveling with. But as far as Monday, we're going to keep it quiet around here. Just more clouds, still winds out bad. Boy, we're not going to see this, but look at this. Kansas, Oklahoma, full out blizzard going on there tomorrow. That's the same storm heading our way, but not with blizzard conditions. So for tonight, we're going to keep it nice. We're going to keep it quiet. A little bit of patchy freezing fog late. Not a big deal. Here comes that next weather maker, but look at Monday. We're okay. Here we go. Tuesday morning. All right. And then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, it starts to work its way in from the south. Right now, this is preliminary Tuesday, mainly in the afternoon, Tuesday night and Wednesday, three to up to five inches. The further south and east you head further to the north and west, two to up to four inches. Again, that could be adjusted a little bit as the storm system gets closer. But tonight, quiet, patchy, freezing fog. Temperatures in the teens for tomorrow. That's still pretty nice in 38. Tomorrow night, still quiet. And then for Tuesday, afternoon snow develops from south to north. If you have any plans to travel, again, you're going to see a little bit more of that snow to the south and east. And that continues on Tuesday night into Wednesday. But again, Charles, you heard me say three to five inches further to the south and east. That's over Tuesday afternoon, mm -hmm. Tuesday night, and Wednesday. So it's a longer duration, not much snow, so still not a big storm. So would it be accurate to say the storm that's coming Tuesday staying till Wednesday is kind of like guests or in-laws that just linger after it's time to go? Yeah, and you just want them to go away. <laughs> yeah. Just go away. All right, thanks. <laughs>